This is the Verbal Nonsense Podcast. I'm Joel. I'm cold. <laughs> Todd, I'm kidding. I'm cold, though. That's oh. wrong. Oh, man. It's so, so cold. We're here for part two of the new inventions. And uh, yes. let's get started. All right. Before I have to find a sweater. Huh. <laughs> okay. This is the goggle umbrella. It sure is. I uh, I just don't understand why why that's a necessary thing. Uh, you you know. have that's a I've lot always of, held my umbrella high enough so that I can see all around me. See that one's kind of a dome though. Yeah. What if it's an umbrella for like a walking path with a lot of low hanging bridges? <laughs> and you've gotta hold it down. This is some awful low hanging bridges. Yeah, they're real short because she's obviously no monster there. <clears throat> you know, I don't think she's going to be playing in the women's NBA anytime soon. Why not just make the whole umbrella clear? Oh. Wow. <laughs> Maybe it's quite it's it, it's quite possible she doesn't want to. She wants to see who's gawking at her. She's probably always also wearing some of those like hairy legs stockings. <laughs> yeah, she's that uh, that just completes her I don't, don't, know, don't look at me. Don't look at me thing. Yeah. Wardrobe. She she looks kind of scared. <laughs> <laughs> or at least paranoid. Oh, okay. Yeah. Paranoid works. Oh, what else we got? Okay. Ha- the half woman. The, uh... <laughs> the, the coffee cup that <laughs> apparently doubles half. as a... As a, uh... An iron. Oh. That that just sounds like a bad idea. I see some spillage going on while you're trying to slide that sucker around. I see a lot of burnt hands for people who are trying to look intellectual. Uh, burnt hands, stained shirts. Coffee okay. stained. Yes. Oh, oh. Yeah. I think I think that's a terrible idea. I'm just curious why this woman only wears one shirt. <laughs> Maybe that's the shirt she's gonna wear that day. I think coffee's more important than buying a second shirt to wear. All right, let's uh I don't, move on. I Unless you got more to say about that. I really, I, dude, I don't. It's like I want to crack more jokes, but. I'm really reaching for him. No. Nope. <laughs> Sorry, well, you bought one of those. It. Couldn't take it off. <laughs> uh, I've seen these. I have actually seen people actually wearing these. I'm pretty sure they were wearing them ironically. Well, I mean, it help keeps your face warm if you don't have real facial hair. I wouldn't wear it. Help but... keep your face warm. Yeah, uh, out on one of those days where that that wind is blowing, it blows. No, I mean, what what's it called the what in knitting? What's what's it called the spacing or whatever between the width between the the weave or whatever? Anyway, mm-hmm. the wind's gonna blow right through that. That's I not, think the different. That, I've worn some knitted knitted stuff like well, that. Well, that's and, not a tight knit. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? That the wind is gonna blow straight through that that's not going to keep your face warm and you just look ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i have seen those on etsy though and they they want a ridiculous amount of money for them yes the moldy sandwich theft uh... i think that's a meth sandwich which one is the meth sandwich <laughs> hmm what's but apparently one? It's an anti-theft uh, baggie. It looks like it makes the food look like it's molded. Oh, so this is the hairy legs for sandwiches. Yeah, I guess the thought is you put that and it'll keep it from being stolen, but not being thrown away. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh man, look at that nasty thing. Let's throw that in the trash. That's that doesn't so gross. Need to be in there. Uh, maybe, Someone know, stole my sandwich. No, I threw it out. You ass. Oh, you threw that. Nasty thing away, and then you'd have to let your coworkers know that you're using moldy bread sandwich 
moldy whatever baggies and then they'll just start eating your sandwich <laughs> actually what they'll do they'll all open it to see that your sandwich is fine because it'll be so amazed by these moldy bread sandwich bags that you have and so therefore instead of like one person might maybe eating your sandwich you'll have everyone at work touching your sandwich before you eat it <laughs> you and if, since it's you know in the break room half of those people probably went to the break room from the bathroom it's actually like zoomed in that's gross that that's just that's a good product but that's nasty I, i'm actually i'm actually saying this is a good invention wow yeah we found one people <laughs> so we, we found one okay <laughs> the belt that lets you know you're getting fat i guess i don't understand what this is it's a belt that shows you how many inches your waist is there's no Why way that is it centimeters because there's no there's no way that's 95 inches no i'm guessing that's that's ridiculous it's metric yeah i was gonna say it's like what is it 2.5 centimeters in an inch i don't remember it's a 32 it's gonna sound 32 i wear a 32 I don't know. I, I can't math. I just crawled out of bed. <laughs> but it's like, yeah, I don't need to be reminded I'm fat, so thanks. Mm. I, I know I know without a belt telling me that I'm fat. It's a secret belt you wear under your belt. <laughs> you know, when you take off your other belt, belt, you like look down and say, oh, <laughs> bummer. I'm still fat. What you do is you get two of them. And you hand one to, I don't know, whoever you want to have this crazy contest with. And you say, whoever can gain the most weight by the end of the year. Like, and you don't, he's, you're like, oh, he's like, all right, I got a scale. And he goes, no, we're using these. We're seeing how big a round we can get. I think that'd be a fun movie. You know, it's like Brewster's Millions or whatever. Is that the one where he's got to go blow like a million dollars and he can't? And he has a certain period of time yeah, to do it. Yeah, he's got like a yeah. couple, I don't know. And he can't spend any of it on himself. Yeah. 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 But, you know, I mean, it'd be it'd be a contest kind of like that. But you got to see how big a round you can get. And, <laughs> and you can get this belt. Uh, yeah. You know. Do you ever see, like... <clears throat> excuse me products like that on facebook and you've got that friend who shares it and they 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 tag their other best facebook friend or whatever on there and they're like we so got to get these you know and it's always some kind of really ridiculous novelty type thing yes that's what this belt reminds me of we could use these to track our progress on our starch diet I don't know. Starch die could go either way. That's why. It could either make you bigger or smaller. It's the perfect diet. You just eat potatoes. If you're trying to gain weight, eat fried potatoes. If you're trying to lose weight, eat boiled ones. Aww. Baby mob. Yeah, we're Child trying. labor. Child labor laws are ruining this country. <laughs> I said what, uh, my son, what kind of person lets their, their child uh, crawl around on an unfinished floor? <laughs> a parent who wants her child to grow up tough. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can actually see how rough that lumber looks. That hasn't been sanded. That hasn't been yeah, varnished. It's pretty bad. Don't worry. At one years old, he has to fight a bear cub. <laughs> <laughs> He's got calluses on his whole body. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> and splinters. Splinters. Those are splinters? I thought he was growing a beard. <laughs> <laughs> Old tough guy over there. I thought he was turning into a porcupine. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Oh. This baby sure looks happy, though. I think maybe that unfinished floor might be a little softer than we may think. 
<laughs> oh, yeah, totally. Well, look at the gaps in the floor, though. I'm, I, I think that baby's actually just stuck. <laughs> so the, the little mop, mop particle things just stripped into the floor. Yeah. He sure does look happy. Oh. Someone's probably holding a cupcake. If you would finish you up, you product? can have it. No, I absolutely would not because that requires a baby. <laughs> and uh, I definitely don't want one of those. Fair enough. Now, what if they made those for, like, dogs? You just need to get the right breed of dog and it's built in. Yeah, it's just That's true. That's true. The the Labrador is good for that one. <sighs> Combination bread slicer, bird feeder. Yeah. Okay. I guess you slice your bread and then crumbs go down the tube into the little bird They sure feeder. do. That bird is sitting there waiting. Now, unlike so, the, the hybrid baby scooter baby i don't remember what that thing was called the um scooter with the with the baby carriage baby carriage baby carriage scooter hybrid that actually looks like a real bird it is not no oh. looks it looks plastic to me i'm so disappointed why can't these people use real things that was all, clearly a real baby in the last in the baby mop that looked like a real baby well, this looks like it's indoors, and pretty so, sure you don't want your bird shitting around that. I don't know. There's some people who do. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> but I'm just saying, I would. I mean, I've I've had birds in the past. Uh, yeah. But yeah, you don't want them crapping around my house. You know what that bird needs? To be real, a cat. <laughs> I see. Yeah. No, like I. Don't, I'm trying to figure out where the need for this thing is. <sighs> Something to do with the crumbs, I guess. They're, it's just uh, a real crummy. I don't. I don't know. That's a. That's a real crummy invention, though. <laughs> uh, Somebody had to make it. Todd puns. Yeah. Yes. Body umbrella. I like that umbrella a lot more than the other one. You almost have to get inside that, like physically crawl inside it i wonder how that gets like put up <laughs> no idea that's so interesting and what's that like in a windstorm uh, i mean do you get blown around and... <laughs> it's like a hamster ball in a windstorm what are you talking about you just tuck <laughs> your legs and roll <laughs> <laughs> how effective is that the thing has like portholes in it uh i don't know I don't know. I don't understand. I don't understand how this was even thought of. Or why. So, so someone was out with a regular umbrella, and the wind was blowing the rain sideways, and they got soaked anyway. So, oh, man. I would love it if only my shins were getting wet. Well, maybe, you know, when it gets that bad, they just crouch down so that only their shoes are... <laughs> <laughs> they do a, a crab walk. And dee -dee 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 -dee. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what that is. Like, sets it down. That, that's funny. I like that. I like that idea. I want one now. Just so I can do that. <laughs> Just so you can grab off. Got my armor. My, these are cool. Corner photo frames. Yeah. For people who love folding their photos in half. Yep. Like that crease. Is that Stalin <laughs> down there in that bottom left picture? I don't know, is Stalin in a band? Um, it looks like the band and then a second picture and that second picture is Stalin. That's what it looks like to me. I don't know, maybe uh, I need to clean my glasses, but it definitely looks like there's just a random picture of Joseph Stalin in that in that band picture. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the, from where I'm sitting. Maybe I don't know what jo Joseph Stalin looks like. Oh, no, that's not him. Okay. Moving on. Well, glad we could clear that up. <laughs> Wouldn't want to dis dismerge the name of the band, you know. Or, what? What is this? Uh, these are called forget-me-not gloves. Apparently, that's so that you don't accidentally let go of your child while you're in a crowded area. That your child's oh hand is... Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, it's like, how do you... 
how do you, oh, so you don't lose your child so they know. Like, like you could can't like your hand uh, the hand couldn't just slip out of that. It's, it's if you can't hold on to your child's hand, how do you think that glove is going to help you? I don't. Well, I mean, you know, it, it's for it's for when it's cold out. Obviously, I like how it has two gloves, so that you have two hands out. Just having children attached to your hands. <laughs> Stick them up. I can't. <laughs> but you just lift your children up too, <laughs> yeah. and and since ah! their wrist is like got to be in that position, they they kind of it, it just looks like clip art when you pick them up. <laughs> They're just like stuck out there. Oh, my that's goodness. a horrible idea. Oh gosh. Now these get some. Got some toe I'm, all, I'm, all, I'm all about these, man, because, you know, really? dude, you know how many times I've stubbed my toes in the middle of the night going to... <laughs> I've stepped on Legos I don't know how many times, and I I still don't want these. <laughs> I've stepped on a D4, and that's that's not a good time. Those, those are like... Those cantrips, yeah. But, so you don't like them, though. I don't know. I mean... I'd use them. I need some different styles, you know? Oh, is that is that it? The style? Is yeah, just... I don't like the closed toe slipper. That's my that's my thing. I wonder why they don't have any like bedtime flip flops? Yeah, you know, just some like really soft flip flops that you wear in the house. Oh man, you wouldn't like any of my slippers. Probably not. You just <laughs> probably not. Oh man, no, because uh, our last uh, house we used to live in. It was hard to heat. I mean, sometimes it got real cold in that house, and uh, so I had I had slippers that keep your feet warm. Oh, okay. I could right. I could heat my place. It's just I'm just lazy. Oh hell no. Uh, nothing I guess... honestly irritates me more in the kitchen than somebody beating on pans, and nothing irritates me more in real life than people who think that they could play the drums on anything that's around them. You're just somewhere. I don't. I don't care where you're at. And then there's like that one guy who who's like, "Oh, I've got two pens. What could I do?" And then next thing you know, they're I, uh, drummer for Guns and Roses, or the dude just has like one pen, and he's like, "Oh, I'm the drummer from Def Leppard." I think it's amazing they felt the need to label which end is the cooking end and which is the the, the drumming end. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the end that you use to cook with and these are the ends that you drum with I was like really? really? I think that they should have just made sticks because while you're in your your mad kitchen beat session and you're just doing that crazy drum solo you don't want to flip it around to stir it and burn your hands piano doorbell no thanks hard pass you're gonna get somebody who thinks they're Mozart, but really aren't. Oh, okay. So you you want the freaking cooking drumsticks, but you pass on the. No, I wouldn't. I would definitely not do the drumsticks. So. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. That, that's I thought no. I was alone in my feelings of kitchen musicians. No, no, no. I'm uh, no thanks. Um, <laughs> and I am definitely not about those doorbells. <laughs> You get the theme song to the classic Batman. There's only th- you know, there's only five notes there. I mean, they can't get that crazy. I mean, what if there's yeah, just but you're one gonna get note? Something like, <laughs> no thanks. Mm. Or if someone just sitting there mashing all of them all at once repeatedly until you answer the door. That's the guy you punch in the face with a chair. I was watching a mixer streaming. Speaking of uh, chairs, I was on mixer yesterday while I was editing uh, editing one of our one of our shows there, and uh, he it, it was apparently a dance. Um, oh, that's pretty cool. That's a neat logo. Ah, uh, who's got that one? Anyway, so oh, I guess this guy. Um, oh, okay. Uh, but anyway, this guy was like, um, I, I guess a dance streamer. And uh, had zero talent, absolutely no talent whatsoever. There you are. <laughs> Here so, I am. So he, um, you would request songs, and he would dance to them in his room. And it was the most awkward thing I've ever seen because it was 
it was this, um, he was husky, very husky. And people were just like asking for, um, I don't know, stuff like what does the fox say and Cotton Eye Joe and just the Macarena and who let the dogs out and stuff Ugh. like that. And I'm just watching because I couldn't look away because this kid looked like he was having like an epileptic seizure the entire time, just flailing around the room. And um, I asked for a song from the Mars Volta, and he's like, oh, I kind of like this. I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, he picks up his chair, okay, speaking of musicians, and he proceeds to play chair guitar <laughs> instead of air yes. guitar, chair guitar. I thought it was pretty witty, and I actually, you know, it was some very good physical comedy. <laughs> I, was, I was like, okay. You get a like. <laughs> I even wrote it in the comments with like, I turned the cap like cap locks on, but I had like a small ch. I was like, ooh, chair guitar. He goes, yeah, nothing but the best here, bro. I was like, all right, no, <laughs> I'm leaving now. You get a like, but I'm out. They have some weird streamers over there on Mixer. <laughs> I was watching one chick who was just throwing out riddles and giving points, and I guess somebody won at the end of it. What'd they win? The points. It's just points. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it was like, she was from the Netherlands, and I guess their points there, because like here we're like, ah, oh, you get 100 points, or ah, oh, you get 500 points, or oh, you get 1,000 points. She was just like, okay, you won that one. You get one half point. I was like, what? Half a point. <laughs> That's a thing? It's like half a point. Well, I split it. I won one where she was like throwing out riddles and I got it at the same time as somebody else. So I got half a point. And then the next one came along. I was like, why did I only get half a point? I'm just sitting there thinking about it. And like the next one, the next guy like answers it and he got a full point. I thought, wait, that this is kind of garbage <laughs> it was a lot of fun though there's some weird streamers out there in the world but um we're all out and i'm done rambling about that anything you got going on oh uh, no sorry <laughs> you're talking about someone from the netherlands and then there's some weird streamers out there and all i could think of is a uh, gold member i'm from denmark isn't that good she was kind of like that. It was a guy in the chat who was just like, "How do you? How did you learn English so good?" And she said something like, "She's like, oh, where are you from?" And he's like, Arizona. She goes, "How did you learn how to type so bad?" <laughs> oh, that's so amazing. Where do you learn English so good? I was like reading it. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I don't know. She definitely got a follow. It was pretty amazing. I like I like Mixer. There's some weird stuff if you go to the IRL section. There's one guy who literally just like buys and sells money. He's like on the uh, currency exchange, and that's all he does. Like while he's on there, it's just like buying and selling Canadian dollars. I don't know what they have over there. Is it a Canadian dollar? I've heard it called a lot of other things. But I don't know. It's a good time. It's a good time yes. while you're cleaning or something. <laughs> Back, background noise. Is that what yeah, you're saying? Yeah, it's that's good background noise. Good and then every once in a while you're like, huh? What are they talking about? What? Or you hear somebody, oops, I just pooped my pants. And you're like, look at what? Every once in a while, you Stream find someone history. shamelessly pimping their podcast on there. It's... <laughs> <laughs> that only happened the one time. And I'm sure, sure I helped those people's lives. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But um, let's uh, shamelessly plug it while we're here. <laughs> this is the Verbal Nonsense Podcast? Yeah. You could, uh, you could like and share. If you enjoy, please subscribe. Are we quitting? 
I don't have any more inventions to show to you. That's no, I didn't. I I, I just assumed we were done. So. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Do you want to redo that? <laughs> no? Uh, we can if you really think we need to. I thought that was horrible. Why? No, I'm just talking about the outro. Uh, I know. Oh, okay. I know what you were talking about. Oh, I thought you were like, why? Like we were redoing the whole thing. No. Okay. Well, we can redo the outro if you really want. Nah, screw it. We'll just keep it like this. Fair enough. <laughs> but anyway, I'm Todd. I'm Joel. And have a good evening.